Welcome back guys again. In this video, we will see how to map additional domain to the new account which you created. This is what the new account which I got. And if I go back to my developer sandbox account, go to settings and domain, you can see ajcollab.com domain is already added there. Okay, which is a GoDaddy domain. I have the GoDaddy account logged in here. It's easy to purchase a domain from GoDaddy. And again, how to add this GoDaddy domain into your 365 developer sandbox, we covered already. I'll also provide the video link in the description. Think about the second account you purchased, this, this account. Okay, this account you purchased means you started with the 365 trial and you got this account. Now here also you need to add the domain name. So I'm going to be adding a subdomain of my master domain. My master domain is ajcollab.com that is used for the developer sandbox account. Here I can use something like lab2 dot aj collab.com because you don't need to buy any extra domain you can still use this domain it'll be easy for me to log in with this so let's go to the process here you can do it two different ways exit the setup go to settings domains you can see the default one there click add domain and they are asking you to add the domain so i'm going to be adding lab2 dot aj collab.com use this domain now they are asking you to verify the domain. You can verify by adding a TXT record in your DNS server. That is still fine. I will go with this. So let me click next. These are the information which you need to add in your GoDaddy domain. So head over to your GoDaddy account, click add record, and they're asking you to add a text record. Value will be lab2. This is the copy button, copy that. Name will be this, and value will be this. And the TTL will be 3600. Hit save. Now you added that domain. Now you're proving to Microsoft that you are the owner of the domain. Click verify. It might take some time for the other domain providers to reflect those DNS entries globally. Wait for some time and then click verify. All right, so it is connected. Click continue. Now you need to configure some SRV records, some additional records. I'm not gonna be using this for my email, so I can disable email. Go to advanced option. I'll be using Skype for Business. That means basically my team's account. So for Skype for Business to work, they are asking you to add these two C names and these two SRV records. So let us go ahead and add the C name, which is sip.lab2. So go back to your GoDaddy again. Click add new record. C name. Name will be sip.lab2. Then the value will be this. Okay. And the TTL is one hour. Add one more. Again, C name. Second one. Link discover lab two. The value will be this. TTL is one hour again. I added these two. Again, come back to the Microsoft portal. They are asking you to add two SRV records. Let us go ahead and add the SRVs. Let's do one thing. I'll open my GoDaddy and Dreams in same interface so that I can see those configs. Coming back to GoDaddy. Hit add new record. And I'm going to be selecting SRV record. And service type will be underscore SIP. Then underscore TLS port will be 443 priority is 100 weight 1 name will be lab 2 the target would be this add one more again SRV service name will be underscore SIP federation TCP, then port will be 5061, weight will be 1, priority will be 100, TTL is 1 hour, here also TTL is 1 hour, then name will be lab2, value will be link discover. All right, I added these two, save all the records. What I have done here so far, I added CNAME records and SRV record to make my teams working properly. Once that is saved, yeah, it is saved in the GoDaddy account. I can go ahead and click continue. 
usually takes some time that's okay you have to wait once that is verified you can see green check marks everywhere now you are good all right domain setup is complete click done again go back to domain and you will be able to see your new domain got verified lab2.ajclab.com at this point you can create users with lab2.ajclab.com go to users active users add a new user let me create ms admin 2 username will be admin at lab2.ajclub.com instead of the default one i can use lab2.ajclub.com password will be this and hit next <clears throat> and this user going to be just a user without any license so i can ignore the license assignment part uh, what i'm going to give is the roles assignments i want this user to be my administrator so this user will have all admin access and admin rights click next finish adding okay the admin at lab2.ajclub.com user got added close this and i will log out and log in with that account admin.microsoft.com then use another account i'm not using the default account i'm using a new account admin at lab2 dot a j collab dot com i logged into the same tenant i can have sample users here any users i can create start assigning licenses and practice for teams 365 all those configuration the main agenda for signing up for this to use the calling plan so i'm going to be using calling plan and uh, auto attendance uh, functionality in this particular tenant or anything else i'll be using my old developer sandbox account while logging into sandbox i'll be using just admin at ajclub.com for this particular one i'll use admin at lab2.ajclub.com so this way i can manage two accounts and that is more than enough for any of your lab practices and scenarios all right thank you guys we'll see you in another video